It's morning on the border between downtown Jerusalem and the Old City. There's no hint of what's happening behind the picturesque facades of these Jerusalem buildings. Welcome to Yad Lakashish, lifeline for the old. More than 300 needy seniors from all over Jerusalem come here every day to engage in a variety of handicrafts. In the artisan's workshops, they create high-quality Judaica and gift items that are purchased in Israel and throughout the world. For 50 years now, this wonderful organization has been changing attitudes towards aging by offering a successful model for re-engaging disadvantaged seniors into society. The elderly artisans have come to Israel from all over the diaspora. Most are poor and have no family, yet they continue to come here every day to engage in creative work opportunities and to remain active and equal members of the community. For me, Yad Lakashish is an extraordinary place where ordinary individuals do extraordinary things. You take uh, elderly folks, you teach them a skill that they never had before. Imagine someone in their 80s learning a new skill and then using it day after day. This, look, it's not a historical place, but it's making history. That's what's important. Yad Lakashish was founded in 1962 by a school teacher named Miriam Mendelo. Starting with eight beggars she found on the street, she opened a book bindery to repair school books with the goal of restoring a sense of dignity and self-respect to the poor seniors. At the same time, she succeeded in bringing the generations together and showing young people how the elderly can use their skills to contribute to society. Word of the institution began to spread. Today, 50 years later, there's no question that this innovative concept has changed the way society views the elderly. Yad Lakashish sets the record straight by enabling the elderly to integrate into society with dignity as equal, worthy people. Yad Lakashish gives them the opportunity to play an active part in productive society, just like everybody else. Every day you'll also find younger faces in the workshops. Thousands of teenagers and college students from around the world visit and volunteer at Yad Lakashish with their families, schools, and youth movements. The central message for the young people is, the older generation is an integral part of the society in which we live. The elderly can be active and productive if we just give them the chance. Yehudi Zaltstein is a Holocaust survivor whose husband passed away more than a decade ago. They never had children and Yehudit is now completely on her own. But Yehudit found a new life at Yad Lakashish, a new occupation, new friends and self-confidence. She feels secure because here, age is no barrier to accomplishment. <laughs> Most of our uh, elderly population, target population, is uh, composed of uh, elderly immigrants who are the neediest section of the population. They come here not just expecting to receive financial support, but also, most importantly, build a community that is challenging, that is productive, and that is enabling them to remain creative members of the society. For everyone here, Yad Lakashish is the reason to wake up in the morning and get out of bed. The wide variety of artistic work, the companionship of friends, and the range of benefits offered here keep body, mind, and spirit strong. There have been studies done that show that people who stay active in their older life 
do much, much better in their, you know, in their physical con condition, in their mental condition, if they keep busy. And I think it's very, very important. And I think that's what we are providing for the workers who come here to Yad Lakashish. Yad Lakashish isn't a community center. It's a place where the elderly are trained in the artistic skills necessary to create products with a real market value. Constantly working on new projects, new jobs, developing new workshops, and teaching new skills, Yad Lakashish helps the elderly maintain their ability to think, to stay interested, and to thrive on new challenges. You have to do something in life. You have to keep your mind active. You have to keep your body active. It's very important to do something. For 50 years now, Yad Lakashish has been a must-see for professionals from all over the world who make site visits to learn firsthand about this unique and inspiring place. We have recently carried out an independent evaluation that has established that fact that the elderly who come here not only uh, feel better and state that their mental and physical health has improved, but they have basically prolonged their life expectancy. Thanks to the generosity of supporters around the world, together with the sales of the products made by the elderly artisans, Yad Lakashish is able to provide the disadvantaged seniors with significant financial support, including monthly stipends, free monthly bus passes, daily morning snacks and hot lunches, subsidies for dental work and eyeglasses, holiday gift money at Rosh Hashanah, Hanukkah and Passover, an annual day trip, social and cultural activities. I the support of friends throughout the world is essential for the long-term future of Yad Lakashish. With your partnership, the current development plans for expansion and construction can be launched, and elderly artisans currently on our waiting list can join the Yad Lakashish family. In the Yad Lakashish gift shop, every visitor is impressed by the tremendous range and quality of the beautiful Judaica and craft items. But they're even more impressed when they find out who made them. What I think is so wonderful about buying the products from Yad Lakashish, whether you buy them here or through the internet or through a brochure, is that you are making sure that tomorrow there will be a place for an elderly artisan to come. If I buy the tzedakah box that he made, then he has to make another one tomorrow. You sort of breathe in all of Jerusalem, and you breathe in the atmosphere from the old city, which is just outside here, and then you breathe in the, the happiness and the joy of the workers here. Fifty years on, Yad Lakashish remains a beacon of dignity and respect. With the support of friends from around the world, young and old alike, it will continue supporting Jerusalem's most vulnerable senior citizens, helping them live out their days with honor and purpose for many generations to come.